the broccoli, the collars, the kale. You name it, Rufus Clancy grows it. Squash, zucchini, and yellow crookneck and straight neck squash. Cabbage, red cabbage, white cabbage. Occasionally, I grow, grow the Chinese cabbage. For 40 years, the retired Army colonel has grown all these vegetables himself on a community garden plot he rents from Howard County, Maryland. For him, growing local means eating better. If you have it where you can vine ripen it, that's the advantage of growing it locally. See, I can let my tomatoes stay on until they get absolutely red. For just $35 a year, county residents can rent organic garden plots from the county to grow and eat all their own fresh produce. The Grow It, Eat It program has become so popular in Maryland that there's now a waiting list for residents to get their own garden plots. Director John Tronfeld says it's in part because people are realizing the health benefits of locally grown food. Fruits and vegetables lose some of their nutrient content when they're shipped long distances. So if you can grow it in your backyard, you'll have a higher nutrient level in your fruits and vegetables, and they taste better. With food prices rising, the number of Americans growing their own food has gone up 25% in the last year alone. Here at the USDA, the federal government is taking notice. Kathleen Merrigan promotes community gardens across the country. She says local gardens are becoming a national trend. Well, right now, uh, less than 1% of Americans are from a farm, have that direct connection to the farmer ranch. And so people want to reconnect again. And there's also the cost. Right now, a bunch of tomatoes can cost up to $4 at the grocery store. For organic, the price goes up to $6. But for just $2, you can get a tomato plant and grow it yourself. There is always a satisfaction to starting a project, completing a project, and in this case, consuming a project. So there's a lot to be learned, and it's also really good exposure for children to understand about American agriculture. Even the first family is getting on board. Michelle Obama planted the first ever organic White House vegetable garden, hoping to educate children about healthy eating and organic food. You dig down and get the root. It's exactly what Heather Lorsong's doing with her family. Heather grew up on a farm, but now lives in the D.C. suburbs. After recently getting her garden plot, she finally gets to teach her 10-year-old son James how to work a garden. Coming after work to tend to the plot has become a family affair. This is a great way for our family to grow our own food um, and know where it comes from and not have to spend so much at the grocery store for our organics. The joys of farming and healthy eating. It's becoming a bargain too tasty to pass up. Tom George, NBC News, Columbia, Maryland.